One thing that gets often overlooked is the common health problems that are involved in the bully breeds. And there's quite a bit of them that I do want to go over because these are major problems that I see owners are dealing with. And I want to bring it to light to make sure if you're getting that new puppy or that rescue dog that you want to save, you got to consider these health problems that they may have or may develop over time. So let's get right into it. A great way to combat health problems that your dog may experience is by giving them a regular exercise and training routine. This is very vital and very important in their lives. And right now, we have a special 15% off discount on our store for all of our exercise products that you can incorporate training with. If you're interested in that, you could check out the link below where you can get some of the top gear we recommend for you. Pitbull's health problems are a little different than other breeds. They face many health problems and it's always good for you to know them. It can help you identify a health problem early on when you get your puppy and the right treatment from the get-go. Here are the top six health problems in Pitbulls that I have discovered. Number one is hip dysplasia. Hip dysplasia is a condition that affects the hind joints of your pit bull's hips. It could be inherited, which explains why it's the most common health problem in pit bulls. If your pit bull is diagnosed with hip dysplasia, you're probably looking at a minor hip surgery. This problem can also develop over time in their life, so it's important to do regular examinations on your dog to prevent lingering problems. Number two is degenerative myelopathy. Excuse me if I said that wrong, but it is a fatal disease. It attacks the spinal cord of your puppy. Dogs with degenerative myelopathy face paralysis, loss of appetite, and even bladder problems. If your dog is experiencing these symptoms, it's best to get them seen by the vet immediately. You can ensure your dog has a healthy and active life through exercising and walks. Number three is kneecap dislocation. A kneecap dislocation is nothing too serious because it is a common condition in pit bulls. The kneecap moves from its normal position and shifts inwards or sideways. With some physical therapy and exercises, it can be put back into its normal position. It's much similar to the joint dislocation in humans, temporarily painful, but there is treatment for it. Number four on the list is mange. Mange is a highly contagious skin condition caused by mites. It could cause extreme itching, and if your pit bull continues to itch, he might scratch himself and bleed from various places. This in itself could be a huge sanitary and health problem. Two consecutive monthly treatments of Nexgard or Nexgard Spectra are recommended for sarcoptic mange. Demodex treatment with Nexgard or Nexgard Spectra should be continued monthly until your vet confirms the absence of mites or two consecutive monthly skin scrapings. Number five is thyroids. Thyroids are a common disorder in pit bull dogs compared to other species. Thyroids can slow down the bodily functions of a pit bull. It can affect their weight, the hair coat, the skin of the pit bull. No need to feel stressed about this one because thyroids it is common and it is curable, but it's something that could be a little irritating for them. Dogs must be treated for life with thyroid hormone replacement therapy. Two drugs are FDA approved for replacement therapy for diminished thyroid function in dogs. Both FDA approved products are prescription drugs containing levothyroxine sodium as the active ingredient. Last but not least is heart defects. A heart defects is a congenital heart disease. Puppies that are born with heart defects possibly won't lead a long life and could survive for roughly 6 to 14 months depending on the situation. Your dog's treatment depends on what specific heart problem they have and what may be causing it. Your vet may recommend one of the more of the following things. Medications to help the heart work and correct irregular heartbeats. Medications to slow fluid build up in the lungs. Surgery to correct a torn valve or insert a pacemaker to correct the heartbeat. A commercial or prescription low salt diet to help decrease blood fluid build up in your dog's body. Limited activity or exercise to manage weight without putting too much strain on your dog's heart. Now, these are some of the common issues that I have seen in the bully breeds. I know I said pit bull dogs, but these could apply to all of the bully breeds and even other breeds outside of the bully breed family. I just wanted to bring it to light because these are common. It could happen and it can allow you to take preventative measures to make sure your dog has a healthy life. Personally, me, I am thankful and fortunate that my dog has not been dealing with any of this except for skin issues regarding allergies in that aspect. Now, I'm curious, are you guys dealing with any of these health problems? And if you are, if you would just leave a comment for other people that may be experiencing similar health problems that other dog owners are facing, and you could possibly give them some recommendations down below. I know that I found this very helpful for each other dog owners because we like to help each other in this community. 
But if your dog is experiencing allergy issues, I do have another video at the end of this video that you need to go and watch and click on right after so you can see how you can prevent allergies in your dog and give them a more comfortable life, a healthy life. So you could go and click on that video now and I will see you over there. Thank <laughs> you.